Scoring truly is a whole other program in Cubase. We would need another five video chapters devoted to this to give it credit. This last video on scoring will focus on questions that we get from a lot of people. How do I score for drums and how do I create guitar tabs? We're going to set up a score drum map, set up the staff for drum notes, enter and edit drum notes, and learn how to use a single line drum staff. Let's jump straight into the score drum map by choosing drum map setup in the MIDI menu. The sounds are here, and your pitches are here. You can't edit these pitches. The display note is the note the drum pitch will be displayed as on the staff. The voice allows you to voice up to eight notes so that things like rest handling and stem direction are grouped. The default settings are most likely what you'll use, but you can change the display note, and change the way it's displayed on the score. When you activate Use Head Pairs, Cubase will display different note values. Empty heads are for half notes, and larger values and filled heads are for quarter notes and smaller. To change the head pair, simply click here and change it. To edit the head pair selection in case you don't like it, select Edit Head Pairs from the Function menu. If you check off Edit in Scores, this will change the display note of the drum pitch when you move notes up and down instead of transposing them. To start using this drum map, go to the Score Settings window, make sure Staff is selected, and click on the Options tab. You need to check mark Use Score Drum Map. Now let's get this staff ready for drum notation. Click on the Clefs tab on the left side of the score window. Change the clef to a drum clef, which is this one that looks like two vertical lines. You might also want to fix the stem height. Go back to the Options tab and change it here. You might even want to use polyphonic voicing for rest handling. I'm going to use two voices. Now let's record some drums. Let's go back in and clean it up. Go into the score settings and turn off auto quantize. Set the notes and rests to eighth notes and turn on clean lengths. Hit apply. That looks a lot better. Sometimes drums are written on a single drum line staff. Let's go back to the score settings and under options, Click on Single Line Drum Staff. Now, in a single line drum staff, there are only three spots to place notes. Below the line, on the line, and above the line. Let's change this to C4. There, that looks a little better. Let's zoom in a bit more. You can see the kick is below the line, the snare is on the line, and the hi-hat is above the line. Now we can change our snare note head so we can read it more easily by going into the drum map. Make it legible, but at the same time pick something that's commonly used. Now let's look at guitar tablature. 
Let's take a look at this nylon string guitar part. Go to the score settings and click on tablature. Turn it on and press apply. For this guitar, there wasn't much I had to do. Sometimes guitar tab books don't have the stems or rests to make it easier to read. Let's choose this and click apply. To increase the space between the tab lines, click on the options tab and then change the add space size to two and then hit apply. There, you've made it bigger. To change the font, size, and style for the tab, go to the Project tab and select Text Settings. Change the font 4 to Tablature and change the font to something like Georgia Size 14. Sometimes it's easier to play something up the neck, and we should write our tab like this too. Right here should be an F on the B string and not the E string. Select the notes you want to move with the shift key and then right click and under move to string, select the string you want to move to. Cubase changes the fret number for you automatically. That should be a bit easier to play now as long as you have strength in your pinky finger. Well, that's all we can cover for now on scoring. There are many more scoring features in Cubase, so feel free to explore the program.